you mentioned that this was 10 years ago that this happened and you're now a survivor. Why speak about it now? Um, because <laughs> I happen to casually mention it to somebody who went, wow, that's an amazing story. You need to tell more people. Um, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, okay. I don't mind. I think it's a really personal thing for a lot of people and I think breast cancer gets a lot of publicity because of the awareness campaigns around it, which is great. It absolutely needs it. But cervical cancer is um, is a problem with a high degree of mortality in, in women in Africa in particular. And it doesn't get a lot of airtime. And I'm happy to, to speak about my experience and I'm reasonably clued up on, on how we can prevent it, certainly. And uh, I'm certainly very passionate about the fact that people need to take care of their own health and need to go for checkups on a regular basis and need to take responsibility for themselves and their, and their children. So, yeah, um, it was uh, Cervical Cancer Awareness Month in September, so I did a couple of, couple of uh, interviews with media on that basis and uh, now chatting to you guys. And Yeah, I mean, if somebody has to speak out, why not me? Well, it is definitely important to share your story. How often should women be going for checkups and how, how do we prevent prevent ourselves from getting into a situation where where we can't really turn back. Okay, so the first thing to realize is that if you're in a long-term relationship with somebody and, and practicing safe sex, that's not going to help. Um, HPV is one of those sexually transmitted diseases that um, you get despite using condoms and uh, it's transmitted through, through sexual contact and bodily fluids. So just because you're in a long-term relationship and haven't had sex with anybody but your husband for the last 40 years does not mean that you're not at risk. Um, you need to educate yourself as to what causes these diseases and how to prevent them. Go for your annual checkup at the gynae. I know we all hate it. We hate the pap smears. We hate the gynae poking around in places we really would rather nobody was poking, but go do it. It will save your life. Um, get vaccinated. If you've got children, if you've got sisters, if you've got people in your life, even if they can't afford it, pay for them to have it done. Stop the epidemic before it becomes more of a problem than it already is. And uh, yeah, harass your female colleagues, friends, sisters, and whatever into going for those checkups because it really does make a huge difference. Now, I don't know if you're going to have the answer to this, but the vaccination, do you have to get uh, vaccinated before you're sexually active? So the idea is to get vaccinated before you're sexually active so before you already have contracted the virus you don't have to though so as far as i um i'm aware the minister of health program is um two vaccinations it's two sets of injections that they're vaccinating i had the vaccinations after my second um operation to stop me from getting one of the other hpv viruses because i obviously already have one it has caused cervical cancer getting another one could prove um fatal so the doctor said to me, look, you know, let's just get you vaccinated against the rest. So at least we only have the one to worry about. So yeah, it, you can get vaccinated as an adult, but um, by and large, they try and catch kids before they've been exposed to the virus in the first place, which is why they're vaccinating grade fours, um, which is around nine years old, if I'm not mistaken. I grew up in, in the standards era, not grades, so I get confused. All right, well, what advice do you have for any women who are watching this video? Um, all right, so the woman, oh, everybody really t talk to each other. Um, with the minute I was diagnosed, I started talking to the woman around me and realized that a number of them that I knew had been through the same experience. And it's tremendously reassuring to know that other people have been through it and that it's not the end of the world and you're not going to die tomorrow uh, if you're caught at the stage I was caught. And of course, if you're caught much further down the line, then, then the chance of mortality is a lot higher. But I think as women, we need to we need to educate each other. We need to talk to each other. We need to keep talking to each other and support each other through these things. And as I said, I mean the the, the strongest recommendation I always have is go for your gynae checkups. Go for your gynae checkups. Go for your gynae checkups. <laughs> I can't repeat it enough. And we all know how bad we are at going for those checkups. So do it yourself, and then bully all the women around you into doing it too.